Hi, today we are going to learn how to relax our psoas or our deep hip flexor. It's very deep and hard to get to. So we're basically trying to sneak up on it from the side at the upper attachment and then on the lower attachment where it comes in at the leg will be more directly on it. For the upper attachment, I'm gonna use a gorgeous ball. So I've got my um, little Pilates ball here. And then for the uh, lower attachment, I'm gonna use my alpha ball set. So these are a little bit bigger than the tune-up balls, and I happen to have two sets of them, so I'm gonna use two at the same time. You can also use your regular tune-up balls for this, or two tennis balls and a sock, but I would recommend putting them on a yoga block so that they're lifted a little bit um, to uh, get better access to that area. If you're very small, you could probably skip the yoga block. So for the lower attachment with the alpha balls, you're gonna find that um, point of your hip and right below it. So that's where those tendons are coming in at. It's actually not just your psoas, but your iliacus as well. They come together. That's what the term iliopsoas is usually referring to, where those two hip flexor muscles join and then attach down low onto the leg bone. So I'm gonna take the gutter or gully of the alpha ball and situate it right on or right below that hip bone. So you're going to find a uh, space to lie down. You're going to put the tune-up ball or alpha ball right below that hip bone and you can use again one at a time or if you're using tennis balls you can or you've got two sets you can do two at a time so you're just going to kind of relax there you can prop yourself up and then tuck your toes under so that you can shift yourself forward and back easily so you're letting the balls roll down into the quads and then come up but not going over the hip bone and then you're going to straighten out the knees and feel how that brings a little more pressure down onto the ball. You can relax the knee, bend and extend. You can turn the foot in and take it out. So you're kind of massaging that area into the alpha ball. And then you can switch sides if you're doing one side at a time. You can do all on one and then the other. You can scoot your elbows out and again, using your feet to bring the balls down into the quad and then coming back up. And always breathing through it. So a lot of times when people are doing something that's very uncomfortable, we tend to hold our breath. So try to avoid holding your breath. So that's that lower attachment. Then for the upper attachment, I would usually try doing this on an empty stomach, especially if you're new to using it. My ball is pretty full. So you, if you're just starting, you can definitely deflate this till it's very, very flat, like a third of the way filled up. And we're gonna lie on our side and let our abdomen relax over the ball. So you, if you want to, you can lay all the way down or you can use a pillow so you're trying to totally relax the abdomen and you're going to rock back so the ball is shifting towards the front of the abdomen and then rock forward you can bend the knee over and kind of let the ball sink into the side of your waist so right between your ribs and the top of the pelvis you're going to shift back and then shift forward and each time inhaling and exhaling as you exhale try to let the ball relax and remember you're trying to sneak in onto the side of the of the muscle so the knee is bent at the hip and at the knee so you can bring the upper body towards the floor and then you can bend the knee and feel that stretch down through the front side of the leg and extend out. 
you can move the ball forward a little bit more so that it's getting more towards the center as the psoas hip flexor muscle attaches to the spine the front of the lumbar spine and then come, there's two of them on either side and then they come out and attach to the leg so they start midline so very close to the center and then they come out and down towards the leg so as you get closer towards the belly button you're going to come in forward so you're just kind of taking your time getting all the layers of your abdomen to relax Bruno's checking us out and then you can also bring the ball back further onto the side and relax there and kind of shift front to back getting in on the side there and then you would repeat it on the other side so super slow again you can easily pop the little white stopper out of your ball and if you're very sensitive you can use the ball so that it's very flat so that you don't have a lot of tightening with that so if you have any questions let me know but that is a good way to relax both ends of the hip flexor of the psoas <laughs> have a good one